In 2004, Sierra Flores was a vibrant 18-year-old, spending quality time with her family and newborn sister before leaving for college. But just two weeks before she was set to start school, she got a life-altering diagnosis, cancer, Hodgkin's lymphoma. She was admitted to Mount Sinai Union Square, undergoing chemotherapy and radiation. That's also where she received solace in the form of nurse Karen Devries. Karen sat in for every one of Sierra's treatments, providing a private room, going above her duties to tend to her family and a scared but resilient teen. When Sierra completed her treatments, they parted ways. Wow, your blood pressure is better than mine. 15 years later, inspired by the woman who took care of her, Sierra is now a nurse at the same hospital in the oncology department. How are you feeling? Karen is now a nurse manager, continuing her compassionate care. She got this email from Sierra, fresh out of nursing school. The care you provided to 18-year-old Sierra was something I will never forget. Ending with, if I can just be a fraction of the nurse you are, I will excel in my nursing journey. Wow, it's truly incredible the impact nurses have. And Sierra is with us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Sierra. We're so glad you're here to talk about this. You're mm -hmm. cancer free, mm -hmm. and you're now a nurse. You have a family of your own. Yes. Uh, what was it like when you were 18? You were about to turn 18, right? When you were given the diagnosis. Can you take me back to that time and what was going through your mind? Well, it literally was like two weeks before my 18th birthday. I was about to go away to college. I had a roommate, everything planned out, and then I was told you need to put that on hold. Mm. And it's a lot to grasp and understand when you're that age. You know, I'm over here thinking more of, oh, I'm gonna miss out on so much. Mm. Yeah. And I didn't realize just how much my life was about to change. You've talked about how difficult that time was and understandably you threw out a lot of the, the pictures because you didn't want to remember, but we have a few. Yeah. Take me back to when you met Karen and what it meant to have her there with you by your side. She was just great from the very beginning. I think I was your typical um, nonverbal 18 year old, yeah. you know, yeah. how we are when we're teenagers, like don't talk to me. Mm -hmm. um, but she was just so great. Like she always knew what I needed without me saying it. And I saw in the little teaser you guys had there, she mentioned the private room and she mm -hmm. did that for me every time because when you go to chemo, it's like in a suite, you know? Mm -hmm. And I was just so embarrassed to be like the youngest person there, Aww. but she always got that room for me. Wow. And that, that helped a lot. It made me feel more comfortable. Mm -hmm. Well, I know you've been waiting all morning because it's been 15 years since you've <laughs> seen Karen. Even though you work in the same place, yeah. you still haven't seen each other. And we want to bring Karen out right now. So I Karen, come up on out. Now. Yes. Yay. Hi, Karen. We're not gonna cry. We're gonna cry. Oh my God, you look amazing. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Good job. You're oh, sit down. Good job. Have a seat. <laughs> so, Karen, you haven't seen Sarah in 15, 15 years. Nope. What, what what are your thing, what are your thoughts right now seeing oh my this, gosh. this mean, incredible it's, woman? It's amazing, absolutely amazing. <laughs> Man, thank you. you haven't changed. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, we haven't seen each other in 15 years. And when she reached out to me last summer or last May, I was like, oh my god, of course I remember you. I remember her mom and her sister and everybody else that was there. And yeah, so amazing that look at her now. Yeah. Oh. And, and Sierra, what what are you feeling right now? <sighs> I'm just so happy to see her. Like, I always say, I always get asked if you could thank her. Like, what would you say? And there's not enough words to say. You know? Like, you, you did it by going into oncology and everything. <laughs> there, there you because go. But you're, you. And you're both at the same hospital. Yes. I work uh, ambulatory, so uh -huh. she works in inpatient. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and you haven't crossed paths? Because she just, I just started. started. Oh, you just uh -huh. started. Oh, my goodness. So, Sierra, Karen's impact on your life was huge. Mm -hmm. It, I'm assuming it's also going to impact how you mm. are a nurse. Of course. In what ways? Um, well, beyond being empathetic, you're so compassionate. And like I was telling them, you always knew what I needed without me saying it. So if I could just be aware, and I think I will be able to, because I've been in their shoes before, mm -hmm. you know, like to anticipate what do they need without them asking me for what right. they need to just be ahead of the game and be there for them like she was there for me. And Karen, what would you want to say in behalf of nurses? You know, we've said on the show, nurses make the world go around. When you are down and out, 
to have a nurse by your side, sometimes through the middle of the night, some of the most challenging times in your life. You guys make it possible. Mm -hmm. What would you like to say on behalf of, of nurses? Um, I think you go into this raw job for a reason. You know, you, you start out wanting to help someone and you hope that you make that difference. And if you really find your passion, this mm -hmm. is the place you want to be. Mm -hmm. And Karen, I think you have a little something for Sierra. Mikey, you one of our well, stagehands has it for you. <laughs> So you have to open the card leader because there's no way you're going to do that. <laughs> uh, after you open the, the gift, I'll explain it because okay. it needs an next one. It needs a little explanation. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe this has been 15 years. I know. Yeah. Okay. And you've been doing this for 40 years. I have. Oh which is I, incredible. Oh, I should have taken that wrapper off. Right? It's, okay. <laughs> it's okay. That's right. It's building suspense. It, yeah. I hope you can have good glasses on because you have to read it. Oh. <laughs> Get can't it? get it open here. Let me help you. Oh. Sorry, bag. No, it's hard to open a box. Okay, okay. Karen, why don't you tell us about it? Okay, so um, during the pandemic, um, I was out with COVID for. Oh, I was sick with COVID, and I just blew that secret. Um, anyway, um, my staff was really incredible, not just to me, but to everybody. We had a lot of patients that were sick that we lost. And so the bracelet, because I have the same one, oh. we all have it. It says, um, I can turn it over. She stood in the wind, she stood in the storm, and when the wind did not blow her, she adjusted her sails. Mm. And what I want you to know is that you're gonna have good days, you're gonna have bad days, but you always just adjust your sails and you're just gonna keep going because that's the kind of person you are. You're gonna be an awesome nurse. That's right. Oh and you both goodness. will be North Stars to a lot of people. <laughs> and the impact you're going to have. Oh, she's gonna be amazing. As oh. well. Karen, Karen, and I'm swiping you to ambulatory as soon as you get better. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.